Hello everyone, it's Drew Bradshaw with you today and we're going to look at adjectives and how to diagram them when we're diagramming sentences. This will be our first type of modifier that we're looking at. An adjective modifies or describes a subject or a direct object and is diagrammed on a slanted line below the noun it is modifying. So we have ripe apples make delicious apple pie. Who or what's that about? It's about apples, that's our simple subject. What do they do? They make, that's our simple predicate. What do they make? Some people will say delicious pie, but that's wrong. They just make pie. Okay, that pie is our direct object. What kind of pie? Delicious pie. What kind of apples? Ripe apples. So you're already familiar with our sentence base and that we divide our subject and predicate and we divide our simple predicate and direct object but now we need to add modifiers. Modifiers aren't necessary in a sentence for a, a native speaker to understand what's going, going on. Notice how the lines are slanted. There's a little bit of space at the beginning over here. There's a little bit of space. The lines do not go this way. No, that's wrong. They go starting at the top left and go down towards the bottom right. And you write the words on the line exactly how they appear in the sentence. So you'll notice that the word ripe has a capital letter because it starts the sentence. It's also capitalized down here. We also put the words in order that they appear. Okay. Old Uncle Herman eats raw eggs. Who or what is this about? Uncle Herman is our simple subject. What does he do? He eats, simple predicate. What does he eat? Eggs, direct object. What kind of eggs? Raw eggs. Which uncle? Old uncle. So you can see it's diagrammed correctly, but you can also see how we break it down. On question 1A, 1B, 1C, the sentence is correct, but the diagram is wrong. My dog chews dirty socks. Who or what is this about? Dog. What does the dog do? Chews. What does he chew? Socks. What kind of socks? Dirty socks. Which dog? My dog. Notice how my is a, pro a possessive pronoun, but that doesn't matter in this case. In this case, it's functioning as an adjective. So, they have screwed up this diagram up here. Uh, it looks like their modifier is in the wrong spot. It doesn't modify chew. You don't chew dirty. It's the, there's dirty socks. So, let's redo it. Dog chews socks. Okay, that's our sentence base. That makes sense to us, and then we'll add some more details. My, and then dirty. Mr. Scott carves scary pumpkins. Who or what is this about? It's about Mr. Scott. What does he do? He carves. What does he carve? Pumpkins. What kind of pumpkins? Scary. Okay, this one looks like everything is in the right spot over here, but notice this line. That line is for dividing a subject and predicate, and unfortunately, it should only be a half line there to separate the simple predicate and the direct object. So let's rewrite. Mr. Scott carves half line pumpkins for the direct object. Scary. Huge bulldozers scooped the dirt. Who or what is this about? Well, it's about bulldozers. What did they do? They scooped. What did they scoop? Dirt. Which dirt? The dirt. What bulldozers? Huge ones. So again, there are several things wrong with this diagram that they did. First thing is, they flip-flopped the simple predicate, or the simple subject rather, and it's modifier. So those two words need to be flip-flopped. Next, this line right here is messed up just like it was up above up here. So that needs to be a half line, 
And then the last thing sometimes is overlooked, but this is also an issue. Huge starts the sentence, so this needs to be capitalized. So let's diagram this correctly. Bulldozers scooped dirt. I see that up above, I have two arrows, so I know I need two lines. Here's a line, here's a line. Huge, the. Okay, let's keep going. Numbers and possessive pronouns can act as adjectives, they can function as adjectives, and are diagrammed on uh, diagonal lines below the noun. M Ms. Peter, or rather Miss Peters, ate three cupcakes. Who or what's it about? Ms. Peters. What did she do? She ate. What did she eat? Cupcakes. How many? Three. So you can see that it's diagrammed correctly over here. Stacy's cat eats tuna. Who or what is this about? Many people would say it's about Stacy, but that's not true. It's about her cat. The cat is the simple subject. What does the cat do? It eats. What does it eat? Tuna. Now, whose cat or which cat? Stacy's. Okay, now we have some fill in the blanks for 2A, B, and C. It says, my sisters chase squirrels. Who or what is it about? Sisters, what do they do? They chase. What do they chase? Squirrels. Which sisters? Well, mine. Okay, so then go ahead and fill this out. It's pretty simple. You can do it. We have Jillian ate eight meatballs. We have Fiona's friend can ride a motorcycle. Remember, on, the, on this one over here, can ride, can is a helping verb, it's a modal, so it functions together with ride. Okay, see if you can get those knocked out. When two or more adjectives modify the same noun, they are all diagrammed on a diagonal lines below the noun. If they're joined by a coordinating conjunction, the conjunction is on a dotted line. So con coordinating conjunction, and, but, or, nor. We also have um, so, and yet, and nor. Those would also work sometimes. So we have this example over here. Aaliyah bought two co colorful umbrellas. Who or what's it about? It's about Aaliyah. What did she do? She bought. What did she buy? Umbrellas. Well, what kind of umbrellas? Colorful ones. How many? Two. So we have two arrows going over towards Aaliyah. I mean, towards umbrellas. She bought two things. And then notice there's two lines down below over here. And we place the words on diagonal lines in the order that they appear in the sentence. So she bought two umbrellas. Okay. She bought two umbrellas. She bought colorful umbrellas. She bought two colorful umbrellas. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. The, the black and white cat caught a mouse. Who or what is this about? Well, it's about the cat. And what did it do? It caught. What did it catch? Mouse. How many mice? One, a. Uh. What color's the cat? White. What color's the cat? Black. Which cat? The. And then we have the word and. It's one of these conjunctions. So it's connecting two things that are equal in grammatical value. So we need to combine two things. So I see black, and that's a color describing a cat. And then there's white, that's a color describing a cat. So it connects those two. If you look carefully, white is on the dotted line connecting black and white, okay? A conjunction always is on a double, a dotted line. Whether it's connecting two modifiers 
or later on you'll see it might be connecting to simple subjects. We'll get to that later. So you don't have to worry about that right now. But just know that a conjunction is always on a dotted line. For 3A and 3B, you need to write a complete sentence that matches the diagram exactly, which means you cannot add extra words here and there, okay? Notice when there's a simple subject right here, this singular line, more often than not, can be the word the, okay? So if you need help with just a single line at the simple subject at the beginning, you could do the, okay, the what? The kid, what the kid do? Through, kid through what? Um, balls. What kind? Um, colorful. That's one way you could do it. And then you would write up and above here, the kid through colorful balls. And then you can also need to remember to write simple subject, simple predicate, direct object, and draw your modifier arrows. Make sure to do the same thing down below, but make sure to remember um, we have these dotted lines, so you know that's going to be some sort of conjunction. For 4A, 4B, 4C, and 4D, you need to break down the sentence and diagram it. Remember, our swimming is continuous tense, so that's a simple predicate. I'll help you with 4C. 4C, I bought a used but clean American flag. Who or what is it about? It's about I. What did I do? I bought. What did I buy? Flag. Not American flag, but just flag. Okay, so now I have a modifier here. I have a modifier there. I have another modifier and another modifier. But connects two things. They have to be equal in grammatical value. Used clean. I bought flag, and then I have four lines, one, two, three, four. I put the words in order, a uh, used clean American. And then I need to put the conjunction on a dotted line to connect the two words that it joins. That's the word, but. Okay, so now we have it. We have, I bought a used but clean American flag. For 4D, make sure that you use mail carrier as a combined simple subject. Okay, but that's the only combined grammatical value for this one. Try diagramming it. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks.